All right, thank you, Ty. 715 right now. Well, the weather outside is already going to be frightful, so we don't need any more Grinches throwing another wrench in our holiday experience. We're talking about scams this morning, and we have Felix Simmons, Principal Security Architect with Guide Point Security, joining us live with some tips for you to avoid scams. Felix, tell us what the, the big scams are right now. It's the holiday season, so I know that uh, those people are really uh, working in overdrive right now. Oh, yeah, for sure. So the cyber criminals, they're, they're kind of continuing what they normally do. Uh, when you start to look at the holiday times, it's just another backdrop. So their overall goal is to try to catch people when they're busy. I mean, everybody's out there trying to find, you know, their gifts, get all their shopping done. And usually if they send them a, a phishing email, uh, which is usually kind of how they, they, they operate a lot of times, uh, they may miss the warning signs. And, and when you kind of look at these emails, there's certain things that, that kind of throw them off a little bit. They're, they're not as perfect. They're not just like what you would really get from these online retailers. And so there's usually uh, things you can look for. So we're checking for emails because there's a lot of online shopping happening. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are some things to do to, to spot phishing mm -hmm. emails. Uh, wh what are some of those key things to look for? Yeah, sure. So when you get these emails, sometimes there'll be misspellings or they'll, they'll ask for things that these online retailers shouldn't be asking for. They're going to ask for your passwords. They're going to ask for sensitive information that you shouldn't be giving out over email. Um, the cyber criminals, they really just look for any mechanism that can give them a little bit more air of credibility. So look for mismatched logos. Mm -hmm. uh, you can hover over uh, URLs and sometimes you'll see domains or, or websites that, that don't really match up or, mis or, or misspelled. So, yeah. Okay, gotcha. And a lot of charities um, are, are set up around the holiday season and uh, this is also a way that the scammers are taking advantage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's, there's all sorts of uh, confidence scams that they have going, you know, everything from, you know, s standing up organizations asking for donations, because at the end of the day, people genuinely try to be helpful and uh, they take advantage of that. So they'll be, you know, they'll ask for money, they'll ask for uh, gift cards. That's a that's a sign usually that uh, that things are off. They'll ask for gift cards and a pen. Um, and, and that's a quick way they monetize and, and take advantage of the situation. Okay, gotcha. And you, uh, you also wanted to talk about a database as well uh, this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the FBI actually publishes uh, uh, a lot of really good information around how to protect yourselves. Uh, they have a, a group uh, called I IC, uh, IC3, and that's uh, the Internet Crime Complaint Center. And what they do is they compile a report every year about the trends that are occurring, and you can kind of look at that versus the ways that you can protect yourself. And, um, you know, this year there's, there's definitely a lot of uh, uh, trends around search engines. Um, you may be searching for the, the perfect gift and, uh, you know, the, ba uh, the cyber criminals are actually starting to hijack the search results and sending you to sites that they control to try to scam you. So, wow. Yeah. Okay. Really, really quickly before we uh, wrap up, what is that website again? Uh, IC3.gov. And you can also uh, put complaints out there if you uh, are a victim of scam. Alrighty, thank you so much, Felix, for that good information right now. We don't need any Grinches uh, stealing the joy of Christmas. So if you want to hear that interview again, just go to our website, fox2now.com. Going to check in with Tim now, who is getting ready for a party. Hey, Tim, what's going on?